The fighting game genre has for years been dominated by well-known franchises. Now a new challenger awaits with the release of Skullgirls on Xbox Live Arcade and Sony Entertainment Network. Are the Skullgirls able to take on the big boys, or will this fight end in scratching, hair-pulling, and girly, girly, girly tears? I win, I win, I win, I win, I win! Skullgirls has all the basic features you expect to see in a modern fighting game. There's a single-player story and arcade mode, a versus mode with local and online multiplayer, and of course a training mode to help you learn the basics. The story mode consists of still images between fights and uninteresting dialogue that is simply text-based. However, fighting games have never been known for their revolutionary story arcs or gripping character development. So let's see if the actual fighting is any good. This is Tuna with Bacon! Showtime! <laughs> Skullgirls plays a lot like the Marvel vs. Capcom games. The game can get completely crazy with screen-clearing super attacks and hyper combo. The extensive training mode displays the depth of this game, providing all manner of attack data. It also includes the unique feature of hitboxes, showing you what areas are most vulnerable to attack. There is enough in Skullgirls to please both the fighting game enthusiast and the casual fan. Beginners are able to make all sorts of cool stuff happen by simply mashing the buttons, while fighting pros have enough tools at their disposal to refine a perfect strategy. Skullgirls' roster is a lot smaller than what is commonly seen in fighting games these days. With just eight characters to choose from, there's a distinct lack of variety. The upshot is that you are able to mix the characters any way you see fit. You can play with one super-powered character or as a team that consists of two or three characters. The characters themselves are really interesting and have lots of personality. This is mainly due to the unique art style that makes the girls look like they are straight out of Japanese anime. Skull Girls pretty much looks like any pubescent boy's wet dream. This image alone sets the portrayal of women in games back at least 20 years. Skull Girls is a pleasant addition to the fighting game genre. However, besides the unique art style and ability to fight with one, two, or three characters, there is not a lot of innovation to be found. The limited character roster is disappointing, but the low price of this downloadable game kind of makes up for it. Skullgirls probably won't convert any new players, but fighting game fans could definitely do a whole lot worse. <laughs>